Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you when you create a list, let's say with a text column or multi-line, and you change something and you want to save the changes. Um, now, you don't want to see a version of it, but you want to see all of the changes with a timestamp. So let's see how we do it. I'll go to new, I'll create a new list. I'll call it demo one and I will create it. Now I have a title column and I, if I create a single line, let's call this uh, status. You'll see here in more options, uh, I cannot do much. I can make it uh, required, unique. That's not that good. But let's keep it like that. And I will create one with multiple line of text. Let's call this uh, description. And if we click on more options, we have append changes to existing test. This is actually the magic. I'll press save. Now let's see what happens. I will create now, open a form. And I will put a title. And I will put a, and in the description, I will write test one. I'll press send. You'll see under the value of the description, I now have a, a link to view entries. If I click, I will see what I typed, who typed it, and when, uh, what date and what time. Now, if I edit this, and put some new text, hello, you'll see that actually, I'll see the last one, which is the hello, that was a 1240, and the original one, which is test. So here we have a, a whole list of um, changes or things that will, it can be like a conversation or something. And, um, so this is actually, now the only problem is that if you want to see actually what's written here, you cannot see here everything. You need to click on the link as you see here, that actually brings you. So let's put some text, which it might make more sense. So I'll come here, click the, the edit and I'll edit again. And I will paste some something long. And if I click here, view entries, I'll see this is the latest change I did. And this is the first one and last one. So this is a feature that actually has been since uh, I know SharePoint 2013, uh, but uh, it still exists. I wish it it could show also the, the latest uh, text here, but currently uh, this is how it is. It only exists on a multi-line and it does not exist on a single line. So this is it. Hope you uh, can test it and see if it, it can help you. Um, just notice that you can also have here the version history, which can show you the, the changes, but um, this also shows you it in, in, a, in the form as well. So actually it's doing the same. So thank you for, very much and have a good day and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Goodbye.